in this video I'll be sharing information on how to build a Drupal multi-site if you want to create more than one site one website but only have access to a single database yet you want to um, create more than a single site in that more than a site, one site in that single database. How do you go about it? I'll be sharing this information, but it's up to you to apply it to your practical situation. You will need to keep at applying this information and asking questions until you get your own situation right. So building a Drupal multi-site. We are where you, we all know I'm sure you know that Drupal is a content management system, which is a, a soft, like a, it's a software, and it brings a lot of um, procedures and together to make uh, the operation of the sites, your sites easy. That is why it's called a content management system. So let's go on and see. Building a Drupal multi-site. So, site builders do build multi multiple sites using the same code base. They do so by building a by creating a folder in the site directory that is pointed at the host name. This is easily done in a production se production server but complicated in a, in a local host machine. So one, you create a folder for each site with domain names, for example, example1.com, example2.com. These are supposed to be your domain names. So you create these uh, folders. So you create these folders for each site in your sites directory right here we have the Drupal this is the site so in this sites directory you create the folders so these are for your fo this will not be your folders you now create the folder in the sites directory Then we go to the next step. The next step will be to create a file for settings.php in each folder. You can take a look at the default.settings.php or more details. Uh, settings.php, all you need to do is you, you copy this default settings.php, you copy it, and then you you now rename it to settings.php and in in each uh, of the folders in, in Drupal 7 you you rename example.site.php to sites.php that is uh, in the sites folder you have example.site.php you now remain, rename it to sites.php in Drupal 7 so uh, by the time you uh, finish uh, doing these things you, your, your uh, sites is supposed to have supposed to look like uh, like this Okay, site is supposed to look like this. So, in your sites, you have uh, all folder. You have the default folder. Then you have example the site. Then you have example one dot com folder. And then you have you can have uh, uh, in under um, sorry 
under this example one dot uh, com folder you have uh, you can you can create uh, modules inside this place you have your site dot php then you have another site here example dot two example two dot com inside which you have your setting dot php and then you can have uh, modules so these are these are your site folder supposed to be according to the um, Drupal experts okay going to Drupal as uh, your, your, your folder is supposed to look like like this which uh, uh, this like this Then the next thing will be to uncomment and change the dollar size array as needed. The dollar size array is in your size.php. You replace the lines in size.php with your actual domain names like dollar size. You now have example one.com, your domain name. Uh, this will be your folder equal to the site domain name, just like that. Do the same for the second site. These sites are built as, uh, are built in a single database using definite table pre prefixes. You have to use definite def table prefixes for each of the sites, and you choose uh, what, to use, uh, what uh, database resources to share between the, the sites. So you can uh, subscribe uh, in case you are building such a kind of a uh, site, and uh, you can you can get some more advice. Uh, thank you for watching. I hope you have learned something from this uh, video. God bless you.